Hi Hope Church, my name's Tony and I lead the team here across uh, Bromley Borough. I just want to speak to you today about our response to the uh, Ukrainian war and the uh, many hundreds of thousands and millions of refugees that have now been displaced. First of all, can I say a big thank you to everybody that has responded so far, that has given generously. Uh, but today I just want to tell you about the four stages we think uh, we have to respond to this crisis. The first stage is one that we've been in for a while now, a few weeks, that will carry on, which is the stage to give. And can I encourage you to keep giving? Uh, as a family of churches, we're joining with our broader New Frontiers family, and we've been telling you how you can give through the catalyst sphere into that. But obviously there are other means such as uh, uh, Red Cross and others uh, who, who you may want to give to. Please keep giving as the need carries on. The next phase is one that is available to us now, which is to, to go volunteer, not into Ukraine, but into the countries around that, and particularly into Poland, where a number of our family of churches have, have, have moved to. And so if you have the ability to give up maybe a week or 10 days of your time to go volunteer and help relieve uh, volunteers that have already been working in those countries, we would love to hear from you. The third phase is one which is also we're in at this moment as well. And it's what I'm calling the matching phase. You'll be aware that the government has given us opportunity, even if we don't have a family connection with someone in Ukraine, to host someone in our home or host a family. And you'll be aware that most of the people that have left the Ukraine are mothers with children uh, and maybe some single people and a few old people. And we have the ability to register with the government and say, yeah, we would like to open our homes. I'm aware already of uh, eight or nine people across our church who've said, uh, I've done just that, Tony. And you might be one of those people who want to do that. Can you do three things for me? First of all, can you register with the government's portal so that they're aware that you're uh, willing to be matched? Secondly, we want to partner with Sanctuary Foundation as they uh, are a Christian organization that are also talking with the government and looking to match people. And thirdly, can you let us know or let your congregational team leader know uh, so that we have a, a little catalog of people within us who have registered because we're independently reaching out through our networks and through other relationships to people who we know need accommodation. Uh, so we want to be really taking advantage of that and matching people. The last phase, which is not yet with us, but I believe will happen in the next week or two, is what I'm calling the receiving phase. We expect across this country uh, many tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians moving to the UK. And a proportion of those will be in Bromley. And we want to tell you that as a church, we've been preparing for that. We've been looking at ministries like Baby Basics and our English classes um, uh, to expand that and respond to that need. We also been talking with the local authority, with other churches and saying we are available to help you just as we did during the COVID with the food provision. And so we may believe that or we're believing that other opportunities as big as that may come our way. It could be that we will rent some property, that when we're able to sponsor as a church people coming in, we will have accommodation for them. Those conversations are happening now. We'll be letting you know more over the coming weeks. But today I want to say two things. One is to thank you, and two is to ask you to keep praying. Keep praying for the peace in Ukraine. Pray that this war would end. Pray for our family of believers in Ukraine, and pray for our family of believers in Russia who are also suffering at this time as they're having to struggle with what their response should be. We love Europe, and we want to see the gospel go forth. We love these people that come into our country and we want to receive them well and know that they are received by a church that is for them and wants to care for them. God bless you and we'll keep you updated.